Anthony, it's Jason Cardos, and thanks so much for your call last night. It was real chatting with you, and uh, per our conversation, I'm running some reports for your home. Uh, you can see here, 2542 Ridgeview, and just from this picture here, it looks really nice, uh, curb appeal. And I have sold uh, two homes recently, actually two or three in that area there, um, and that's a neat little pocket neighborhood. <clears throat> and looks like you're overlooking Home Avenue. And I know the back lot, you know, it goes down past your fence there, I see. And I think you're kind of, you know, you're right on with the uh, the price you're thinking. This, this I like to run three, four different databases, but this database is saying 401 average. But you can see here, 365 to 437, 253. Um, so you're definitely in the range there. Three bedroom, one bath, 968 square feet, and uh, the lot size. And I, I did look up the previous listing that you had, and um, it does disclose about that garage being converted. So I have this report. It's got graphs and charts. Um, it does show where, like you said, Susanna was taken off. So everything you know, but I can send you this. Um, and then also uh, refine the home value. So uh, th this report here, I can click on it, and you know we can add maybe another room. We can't call it a bedroom, but we can put total number of rooms here, stories. So we can play with the numbers a bit here. Um, home exterior condition view. So that's another tool we have. And then this is the multiple listing service, the MLS we call it. And this is by Sandy Core Paragon, it's called, but this is what the realtors use. And so I put detached homes, 92105 area code. And I have active, back on the market, contingent, which are usually short sales. Pending, that means they've accepted an offer and they're in escrow. Sold, then there's expired. Um, for whatever reason, the listing expired with the agreement they had with their agent. And then there's withdrawn, cancel, and hold. Withdrawn is usually uh, if they're doing repairs or say it's the holiday and uh, family members are in town and they want to take it off the market and cancel is just straight canceling the, the listing. And then you'll see here I went six months back. That's usually what appraisers do. They'll go six months back. So uh, hitting search here, um, you'll see here, here's all the homes that are coming up. Um, so here's one active, 379, started out at 409, here's one on 39th, that's active, and then right here is days on the market, so this one they just listed today, um, but I can send you, like here's one that expired, that looks kind of like a flipper home over on Landis, um, but here's all these re uh, homes I can send you. And then to go on the numbers, I'll do a um, an average here. So you'll see right now in the last six months for the 92105 uh, zip code, high of 469, uh, low of 257, and then the average is 395. So kind of what you're you're expecting. There's not a lot actually, yeah. There's two active listings, so two of them were just listed today. And one home, well, both home, one home's a little more square feet than yours. The other one is more, but there's the price ranges. And then you have pending, so they've accepted an offer and they're in escrow. Then you have sold. So DOM is days on the market. You have estimated square feet, lot size, bed, bath. The nice thing is you have three beds. Um, and then here's price divided by square feet, come up with a average price per square foot. So we'll see $242. And actually this one, then there's SP sales price and price divided by square foot. So these are the same. Actually, that's the same. But like here, you got 385, but when it sold, it sold for 352. So sometimes you can see the price, you know, went up or down from what it was listed at. But on average, 381000 in your neighborhood of a price per square foot of 
uh, dollars. So, and that was for a 964 square foot on average home. And those are only two two bedrooms. So with yours having three, that's going to be better. Then you got the maximum there. Then here's the expired. So um, I hope that's helpful there. And then um, I also have, this is a tax record report. So you'll see shows your lot dimensions, 50 feet, 157 feet long. Here's more information here. And what I was thinking of doing, um, I have another, uh, another uh, way to search values. This is from the tax database. So what I'll do is I'll put it in here, street address. This will pull up and then I can get some comparables for you. So let's see what this, this database. So this is going off tax records. So this one will also pick up homes <clears throat> that weren't on the market. Say uh, someone uh, sold it to a family member or didn't use an agent. So we can see that as well. Let's see, did, did they download? Didn't. All right. Well, I apologize here. Let's get this downloaded. Well, taking a little more time. Um, I hit comparables. Let me do it here again, real quick. So there's some numbers I just wanted to show you. Send you this quick video. Um, I'd love to meet you here soon. And like you said, uh, any contractors you need to help let me print let me get this uh, save PDF is it working there it goes all right so this report for your house what's it saying it's saying uh, 364,000 so but here's some other comps around there so I can send you this report as well um, but I hope that's been helpful and uh, uh, you can call or text me again uh, cell phone is 619-347-6337 I know it's Friday and we're running around uh, but maybe if you have some time over the weekend or early next week and uh, let me know if you have any other questions in the meantime thank you very much and have a great weekend bye-bye